I'm Fauzia Ibrahim with the top stories on Al Jazeera. The U.S. Defense Secretary has announced new ground-based anti-missile defense systems. Fourteen more will be deployed to a U.S. military base in Alaska. It's in response to what the U.S. says is a growing nuclear threat from North Korea. Zimbabweans are heading to the polls to vote on a new constitution. All of Zimbabwe's political parties have called for a yes vote on the bill. It will reduce presidential powers and grant people more democratic rights. Haru Mutasa is in Harare. The referendum on March 16th should be quick and straightforward. It's essentially a dress rehearsal for the presidential election, which could take place in July. And some people here are worried that the fight for the top job could be marred by violence and allegations of vote rigging. Eurozone ministers have agreed to give Cyprus a bailout loan. The rescue is estimated to be around $13 billion. That's much less than the $22 billion it accepted last year. Taxes will go up as a one-off revenue-raising drive. The UN says the United States has violated Pakistan's sovereignty with its drone program. UN investigators made the comments after a three-day visit to Pakistan. They say the drone program is being conducted without the consent of Pakistan's government. And you can find the latest on all those stories and more at aljazeera.com.